Hello everyone. Well, this is the first video lecture of this series, all you need to know. So in this series, what we are going to do is, we will take one one question at a time and we will try to understand that particular question in the best way possible so that if that similar kind of question comes in your exam, you can achieve 100% marks in that particular questions. So this is the first video of that particular series. So let's begin. So as you can see, by the way, as of now, I'm selecting all these questions on my own. So if you have a particular request without any hesitation, do let me know in the comment section below. Right. So let's get back to the topic. So the first question for the for this particular series is state how ATP is synthesized in the mitochondria. So, well, my students, from the question, you can understand. I have taken this particular question from the chapter respiration in the A-level biology. Now, before we move to discussing the question answer here, understand the word state as you can see that's the keyword of that question so here you have to keep the matter very concise you don't have to give any explanation to what all things are happening rather you have to write the series of events one after another and for that to happen for that to understand let's go to the next slide here so this is a classic example classic diagram that I've taken from your textbook as you can see so multiple steps are mul multiple events are happening here one after another so let's understand what all things are happening first as you can see the oxidation happening for this reduced NAD and reduced FAD now students understand one thing in this kind of series video I'm not going to talk about how from where you are getting this reduced NAD how did you form that no for that, I'll be making a separate video as a lecture on, say, glycolysis, Krebs cycle and all stuff. In this kind of video, we will simply try to keep it as simple as possible and we'll try to keep it to the point. So first point, understand one thing. If you again go back to the question state, how the ATP is synthesized in the mitochondria. That means they are talking about oxidative phosphorylation, right? Now see what all points we need to take into consideration first things first this reduct this reduced nad and reduced fad they are going to oxidize as you can see oxidation is happening for them right so the moment this oxidation happens here that means this nad and fad i should say the reduced nad and fad they are liberating the protons as well as electrons simultaneously that means oxidation has taken place to this reduced NAD and FAD. What will be the next step? As you can see, these protons will be pumped into the intermembrane space. Now understand one thing. I have said intermembrane space. Make sure you are not writing inner membrane space. The moment you write, it becomes wrong. Intermembrane space. As you know, mitochondria is a double membrane structure. So the space between two membrane is known as intermembrane space. As you know, you have in your school, you have interhouse activities. That means the activities which are being conducted between the houses, right? You have a house system in the school. So again, be, be very careful about the choice of what you're making while attempting an answer. So protons will be pumped into the intermembrane space, as you can see. At the same time, whatever electrons are there, those electrons will be transferred from one electron carrier to the other. So that's a series of events happening simultaneously. Meanwhile, the moment you develop a proton gradient into the intermembrane space, because you keep on sending the protons, the moment oxidation happens, you generate the protons, you keep on sending the protons into the intermembrane space of the mitochondria, as a result of which, you are slowly developing a proton gradient. That means more protons, more H plus ion will be inside the intermembranal space than the matrix of the mitochondria. As a result of which, due to this gradient, I must say, these protons will start diffusing through the ATP synthase. Right? Now understand, this is nothing but a facilitated diffusion because this diffusion is happening with the help of these stopped particles, which is nothing but your ATP synthase. So as you can see, it is the same enzyme which will ultimately help in the formation of ATP. Right? So from that intermembrane space, 
your protons are coming down your protons are diffusing diffusing into the matrix because you have developed that gradient as a result of which that influx of proton and the electrons as you can see the arrow it's given in the picture in the diagram clearly in combination with oxygen it will finally form the water and while these protons are passing by while these protons are showing the influx the adp and the inorganic phosphate will be converted into the atp so whatever energy was being carried in that proton while coming down it will give those energy to the adp and inorganic phosphate so that energy will be captured by the adp and inorganic phosphate to make the atp so your atp is ready as you can see at the same time oxygen is a final electron acceptor as you can see in the diagram it will accept the electron it will also accept the proton which is coming from the intermembranal space right now these protons are having less amount of energy initially before coming in it was having more amount of energy so where all this energy went these energies were given to the adp and inorganic phosphate as a result of which you form that adp so understand one thing here these are the points you are supposed to write and need this to forget that oxygen is the ultimate electron acceptor it's because of oxygen the whole process had taken place right so that's it that's all for this video so i hope you have enjoyed this video like i have already told you if you have some questions in your mind if you can share that question with me that will be very nice i will try to cover up your question in my next video in the meanwhile do not forget to subscribe share and like my video like my channel also and share the video with your dear and near ones if you want to follow me in the social networking side as well as the professional networking side all the handles are given below in the description you can go you can check the description and hit the button that's all for the day take care stay safe stay at home bye bye